Hello dear children welcome to Quest Academy where learning is made simple In today's session we will be learning some tricks to solve passage comprehension efficiently Students spend a lot of time reading and comprehending the passage and they do not realize that time is slipping by However if we use some tricks we will be able to solve the questions in a shorter period of time with greater accuracy Remember that passage comprehension can increase or decrease your scores. So let us begin. Step 1. Read the instructions carefully. It is often noticed that students jump to read the passage immediately instead of reading the instructions. They think that it is a waste of time. They think that instructions are same all the time and they have been doing this while they were solving practice papers. However it is very important to read the instructions carefully as it is not a waste of time but investment of time sometimes there might be a change in the instructions there might be some twist in the question you cannot take a chance so make sure that you read the instructions very carefully step 2 read the questions the next step would be to read the questions first and not the passage It is very common among students to read the passage and then read the questions. But the drawback in this technique is that children have to revisit the passage again and again to find the answers, which would be time consuming. So when you have to solve passage comprehension in a time bound manner, you have to first read the questions and not the passage. Step 3. Highlight the keywords note or underline the keywords mentioned in the questions now let us understand why we should do this this helps in targeted reading which means that if you know what is to be searched in the passage it becomes easy for you to locate the answer and this will increase your speed automatically this helps in goal oriented reading remember that passage comprehension is not for leisure reading so you need to be really focused focused in finding the answers this technique will help you to locate the answers in the passage quickly and will save your time step 4 start reading the passage once you have read the questions and marked the keywords you need to start reading the passage and make sure you read it very carefully please do not read the passage in a hurry this is a common mistake that children do they read the passage in a haste and commit silly mistakes also try and locate the keywords that you have already marked in the questions once you know what is to be found in the passage you will be able to find the answers faster step 5 try to comprehend while you are reading the passage and finding the answers one more thing you need to do is that to understand what the passage is all about we need to understand what does the writer want to convey to us the reason you need to do this is that this will help you to answer indirect questions like what is the central idea of the passage or what is the message the author wants to convey through this passage once you understand the thought of the writer or the tone of the passage you will be able to answer indirect questions or inference based questions easily step 6 avoid outside knowledge sometimes it is possible that you might have a lot of knowledge about the topic that is being discussed in the passage however you need to keep in mind that the aim of passage comprehension is to check the ability of the students to understand a given passage and to be able to answer the questions based on it so stick to the passage and do not use any outside knowledge to answer the questions remember that this extra knowledge if returned in the paper will not increase but surely decrease your scores step 7 selection of questions last but not least is the selection of questions you might be given a choice to solve eight questions out of the given 10 questions Here you need to be really careful while selecting which questions to be answered. Please attempt only those questions which you are really sure about. Avoid questions which you feel are tricky or complex. 
You need to be very smart in selecting the questions so that you do not waste your time in thinking too much about the answers. I hope these tips and tricks will enhance your skills to solve the passage comprehension question effectively and efficiently.